Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today I would like to talk about the big shift that we are experiencing right now and that is actually going to be fully implemented by the year 2024. The uh, metaphysics disciplines look at time in cycles and in periods. Uh, we are always in a particular period of time and each of these periods, they last for 20 years. And once we have completed 180 years, there will usually be a massive shift. Right now, we're just looking at a period change, but this still is a change in energy. At the moment, we are still in what we call period eight. In 2024, we will enter officially into period nine. Now, I say officially because this shift doesn't come overnight. Yeah, it's not uh, that one day in February 2024, we just shift from one era to the next. That doesn't happen. These shifts come gradually. And in fact, the shift to 2024, the shift to period nine has been initiated in 2017 already, has been slowly building up and is actually at its mid turn now in 2020 which is why we're currently going through such a massive change on a worldwide basis yeah you will see you you see there's a lot of things not quite going right or at least it doesn't feel right to us because we're used to something completely different on a more macro scale this is we are right on track yeah even though it may not feel that way but what period nine will bring is a completely new shift in paradigms. The energies around us will change and it means that we have to adopt uh, new skill sets, new ways of thinking and new mindsets. This will also mean that we have to change the way we read a Baza chart. We have to change the way we interpret a Tsimen Dunzia chart. And most importantly, we have to change the way we look at feng shui because feng shui is extremely cyclical. It's very, very time dependent. And what worked now will no longer work in period nine. And this is already happening now. And a lot of feng shui masters are already adapting to period nine and recommending particular remedies for their clients to prepare for period nine. So when it comes to flying stars, for example, in feng shui, the auspicious flying stars that we are looking at right now in period eight will no longer be valid in period nine. We will have to use completely different types of energies. Period nine is a fire period. Yeah, as you can see behind me, we actually associate period nine with a phoenix rising from the ashes. Yeah, it's um, so something will be reborn and it's mostly ourselves. We will come to a completely new awareness about ourselves and this will express itself in a lot of different ways. So for example, um, whereas right now we are living in an information age, and we just gather information, gather information, uh, period nine will focus more on wisdom. Just because you have a lot of information does not mean that you transfer or translate this into wisdom. In fact, most of the times it hinders wisdom from happening. Yeah, the more information you have, the more confused you get, which is why period nine will not focus so much on information but it will focus on how we translate this information into real life actions and how we use this information. Wisdom will become much, much more important. Spirituality will become much, much more important. Anything to do with um, self-development, yeah, because self-development builds on wisdom. Anything to do with self-development will become much, much more important than it is right now. But because the fire element is also associated with um, IT, with technology, we will also see a massive transition to anything that has to do with uh, AI, artificial intelligence, anything that has to do with online platforms. Yes, we think everything is going online right now already, but this is nothing to what is going to happen uh, 2024 onwards. Yeah, so 
online education will play a massive role. We see this already now. This is why we are uh, experiencing the pandemic and everything, because we need to get ready for period nine. Schools have transitioned to online teaching. This would not have been possible before. Yeah, schools would have thought this is impossible, this is too difficult, this won't work, but this will become more and more common. We will also learn on a much more visual level. Yeah, it's not just about reading or, uh, you know, learning things by heart. This will no longer work. In period nine, it's about experiencing things much more on a visual level. Right. So we all have to adapt. Everything will go in a much, much uh, more. Um, we'll, we'll move into a deeper direction in terms of spirituality and healing professions particularly will thrive. Now, the fire element is also associated with femininity. So this will mean that in period nine, female leaders will become much more important, right? So in period eight, the period we're in right now, you will have seen or you will have noticed a lot of young men coming to power or uh, becoming industry leaders. This will shift to females in period nine in 2024. So if you are uh, in a female oriented business, then you will probably see an increase in demand and you will, your business will be thriving. If you're not already targeting a lot of female clients, move your business to, towards into this direction. Yeah, and for men, I'm sorry to say, you will have to learn to work with female bosses. Yeah, so acquire those skill sets because female bosses will be much, much more prevalent in the new area of period nine than they are right now. So there's a lot of sh changes and shifts coming. Um, there's a lot of ways you can prepare yourselves. And we can see in a Baza chart, in an astrology chart, for example, how ready you are, how prepared you are, and how much affinity you have with period nine. Because not everyone has the same sort of resonance with each period. Some people will find the transition very easy. People who are already spiritually inclined, who are already very much in a female-oriented business, who don't have a problem working online, putting everything on a cloud and working with artificial intelligence, no big deal, yeah? They'll be able to make that transition very easily. Others struggle a bit. And you can see that in a Baza chart and you can also see what they need to do and when in order to become period nine compliant. And we can help with Baza, we can help with Feng Shui. So all of these tools that we have been given by Chinese metaphysics will help us transition into this new period. So if you would like to know more about this, if you would like to know how you can become period nine compliant, both from a Baza perspective, but also in terms of Feng Shui, feng shui and maybe Yi Jing or Qimen Dunjia, get in touch with me. All my contact information is in the contact box down below.